Hello friends, Osiris here and a brand new Terror Raid event for Chess Form Gimme Ghoul is coming to Scarlet and Violet later this week along with some brand new mass outbreaks. In today's video we're going to cover all of the details of these events as well as some tips to help you shiny hunt when it goes live. <laughs> So later this week on the 9th of August and running right up until the 22nd of August, we're going to see a brand new Terror Raid event come to Scarlet and Violet. It will actually be a returning event, but it is all in celebration of the Pokemon World Championships, which is happening from the 16th of August over that weekend until the 18th. This event is the third part in the Summer Series event or the seasonal event that we're coining from Pokemon happening in Scarlet and Violet over this summer. Celebrate the 2024 Pokemon world championships with pokemon featured in events key art chest form gimme ghoul will be appearing in one to five star terror raid battles these chest form gimme ghoul have various terror types if you challenge one in a five star terror raid battle you'll have a small chance to encounter a shiny chest form gimme ghoul which doesn't normally appear during regular gameplay so a very exclusive chance for us to get this pokemon in its shiny form and on top of that during this event look out for mass outbreaks for Wattrill will be appearing through Paldea, mass outbreaks of Riolu which will be appearing in Kitakami and mass outbreaks of Comfy throughout the Blueberry Academy. Shiny Pokemon are more likely to appear in these special mass outbreaks. Pokemon appearing in these special mass outbreaks are also more likely to have the pumped up mark. The event will be running from Friday the 9th of August 2024 at midnight UTC and running all the way consecutively through to Thursday the 22nd of August at 23.59. Now this will be the second time out for the Terror Raid event for Chess Form Gimme Ghoul. It's an exciting one to have come back because like we've already mentioned, it isn't normally available to Shiny Hunt in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This event gives you the chance, although a very small chance to get it, in these games now although in paldea we're going to see an array of one to five star terror raid events for the chess form gimme ghoul and they can all be in different terror types as well it's only going to be those five star terror raids for gimme ghoul that can have that chance of being shiny we do have information from last year's event from anubis an amazing data miner in the community it is really bad looks like the chest form gimme ghoul raid is shiny at the standard terror raid rate of one in 4,103. Only five star raids can be shiny, rest are gonna be shiny locked. So one to four stars, shiny locked. Don't try and shiny hunt those ones. It's only the five star raids that can be available in these raids. You can see from the information from last year's information that we got from the data mines, there's the one star raids, they can never be shiny. Two star raids can never be shiny three star as well and it's not until you come down to the five star raids where we've got that shiny standard rate yeah the item drops aren't really anything to write home about you're going to get some decent stuff like large exo candies but i think if you are hunting these pokemon in the terror raids the likelihood is you're probably just checking the raid and then coming straight out of it moving on finding the next five star terror raid just to make it a bit more efficient now some key things to just keep in mind if you are shiny hunting for this chest form gimme ghoul over this time when the event is running is that the shiny charm if you've got access to it in your games it will not affect the shiny odds those shiny odds are going to stick at one in 4103 also sparkling power from sandwiches and things like that are not going to affect it so those odds are kind of stuck you're not going to be able to affect them in any way shape or form so finding a shiny is going to be very difficult the shinies are also very hard to identify when you go into a terror raid if the pokemon in the terror raid is a shiny there will be no indication there'll be no shiny sparkles like you would normally see on a shiny pokemon when it enters the battlefield it will not have any indicators so you will have to be able to identify it yourself or catch it in game and then check it once you've caught that pokemon and the added kicker on top of this all is that the chest form gimme ghoul's shiny form is very very similar to its regular form so being able to identify it is very difficult on screen now i'm going to put up the regular form chest form gimme ghoul and the shiny chest form gimme ghoul you can see there is very slight differences between the regular and the shiny the biggest telltale i think is going to be that the gimme ghoul on the shiny one is a lot lighter it's more of a whiter color and a good indicator to see if it's shiny or not i think is by looking at the buckle on the chest and then referring that color to the actual gimme ghoul if the gimme ghoul itself is lighter than the buckle on the chest 
then this will be a shiny. If not, though, if they're a very similar color like the regular one here, you know you've not got a shiny. Now, to make this hunt a lot more efficient, I think what you're going to have to do when the raid event goes live is identify the terror raid event dens on your map. You'll be able to identify them easily because they'll have like a white aura around them. When you come to the den, the first thing you're going to have to do is check if it's a five star terror raid event den. If it's not, don't even enter the den, just move on to the next one. When you do find a five star terror raid den, that's when you want to enter it and you want to just start the raid. Now, one tool that you're going to want to have turned on to make this shiny hunt a lot easier in your switch settings is going to be having the zoom function enabled. So come to your home menu and you want to come down to system settings and then down into system and then come down to the option zoom and make sure that this is toggled on you just need to click a on it it will toggle on and once you've done that you can hit your home menu and then come back into the game now when you found that five star terror raid for the chest form gimme ghoul you come into the raid the first thing you're going to want to do at the start of the raid is zoom in on this pokemon you can use the zoom function by double tapping your home button on your controller and that will zoom in on the Pokemon. You'll be able to have a good look at the Gimme Ghoul appearing in the raid. Now, like we've already outlined, if it is not the shiny, if it is the same color as the buckle, if it's the same color as what we've been showing you as the regular form Gimme Ghoul throughout this video, then you know it's not the shiny. You can just run away from the raid and then move on to the next five star terror raid event. Now, of course, that is one way to shiny hunt. Another way is to just beat and catch every single gimme ghoul that you come across. It is gonna be a bit of a slow process, but of course it is gonna guarantee you that you aren't potentially missing those shinies if you do come across them in game. So if you want the quickest way to beat any of the gimme ghouls, I would suggest one of these two builds. They'll be down in the description below. We've Ursa Ring available in the base game. So if you haven't got the DLCs, you're going to be able to get this Pokemon, put it together pretty easily. And if you do have access to the DLCs or even Pokemon Legends Arceus, you're going to have access to Ursa Luna. So we'll start with the Ursa Ring, of course. It is going to have a normal Terror type. Terror type doesn't really matter too much because you aren't really ever going to be terrestrializing. Big thing here is going to be that it's level 100. You've hyper trained those IVs, so they're all set to 31. And then that held item of the Flame Orb. The move set that you're going to want is Belly Drum, Crunch, Close Combat, and Facade uh, with the ability Guts. That's really important here. And an EV spread of 252 EVs in HP and 252 EVs in attack with the remaining EVs put into special defense or defense, whichever you would prefer. The basic idea is coming into the raid, you're going to belly drum turn one. That's going to max out your attack, cut your HP in half. And then depending on the terror type of the gimme ghoul that you're going up against, you're going to use one of the three options that you've got. The facade is going to be the most powerful one. You're going to get the stab boost there. If it is weak to fighting type attacks, go for that. Or if it's a ghost type, uh, go for the crunch and then you've got perfect coverage across the board with the Ursa Ring and you're going to have no trouble beating these Gimme Goo very quickly if you are wanting to use the process of catching each one and then checking them after the raid is finished. The other build that we've got is going to be Ursa Luna, very similar to the Ursa Ring, just probably a little bit more powerful, guaranteeing you those one hit KOs when you use this Pokemon. So level 100, hyper trained again. Flame Orb is the hell item. Don't worry about the terror typing on it. And the moveset is going to be Belly Drum, Headlong Rush, Crunch, and Facade. Then you're going to have the Guts ability. Again, that's a very important one with the EV spread once again of 252 EVs in HP, 252 EVs in attack, and then just four EVs in that special defense. So for vitamin purposes, you're going to use 25 HP ups, 25 proteins two muscle feathers and then four clever feathers and that will give you the exact evs that we've got if you're a saloon is hyper trained across the board with all of its ivs set to 31 the stat should look exactly like this make sure it's got an adamant nature as well but again very much like the ursa ring where you're gonna turn one belly drum and then use whatever kind of move suits out of the three options that you've got against the terror type that you're going up against this gimme ghoul then you're going to be able to beat it pretty easily one shot it and then capture it check if it's shiny and then move on to the next five star terror raid doing this as well gives you a way to farm for materials as well which are going to be very useful in leveling up things and then selling those other high cost materials off to just get you a lot of money so it's not a waste of time doing it it will take a bit longer than just checking the raid of course and then going to the next one but this is a way if you want some builds 
these are going to be good options for you in your game. And another tip that is going to be very helpful if you are shiny hunting these chests from Gimme Ghouls is being able to refresh the dens on your map. The normal process is you have to wait 24 hours for the dens to respawn, but you can do this very quickly. If you've checked all of the five star terror raid dens on your map and none of them are shiny and you want a new batch to check, what you can do is use the date skip method. So anywhere in your game in Paldea, if you hit your home menu, then you come down to your system settings, down into system, and then into the date and time options. Make sure that your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off, and then just come down into the date and time options. Don't change anything here, just toggle through with your A button, hit that OK button, then come back into your game. And you'll see when you come back into the game, all of the dens will despawn and then you'll get a fresh lot of dens spawning onto the map, meaning that you can go around and do the same process that you've done already. Check those five star terror raid event dens or that shiny form gimme ghoul. So some very quick tips for you if you are going and planning on shiny hunting the chest form gimme ghoul while this event is running over the next couple of weeks. Make sure to check out the world championships when it's happening in Honolulu as well. Of course, I will be there as part of the casting team for the VG side of things, which is going to be very exciting. But outside of that, I'm going to take some time to try and get myself a chest form Gimme Ghoul. If I can get one, I am going to be streaming it when I return from Honolulu and I will be making sure that everyone can get involved and get their chest form Gimme Ghoul from the streams when we do them. But I cannot make any guarantees with those odds as high as they are. One in 4,103. The chances are pretty slim. I've never actually had a shiny Terror Raid Pokemon appear in my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games. So this would be a first one for me if I'm able to get it. But if you are shiny hunting it, I wish you all the best luck in the world getting it. Hope you get it very early on. And if you do, please drop a comment down below. Let us know how successful you've been. And if you have got it and you are planning on hosting it and sharing it with others, then drop a comment down below. Let people know or hop over to a Discord and let people know in there and then you can share the happiness and your good fortune with that shiny chest from Gimme Ghoul. Of course, as well, enjoy the mass outbreak events that are happening with those shiny increased chances and mark chances that are happening over this period. And of course, after this event, we are going to see the next seven star terror raid event come to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and that will be for seven star Dragonite, which I'm very excited for. So let me know down in the comment section below. If the video has been helpful, what you're hunting for over the next week in this event. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So thanks for tuning in, friends. Do drop a like, do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything. I'll see you all in the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.